greatest feeling of my life. I just remember it, it's just like it's been in my jeans for the last four years, you know. Michael Phelps is my hero and uh, I just wanted to race him in the final and uh, I just wanted to win so bad. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, you don't understand what this means. So, you know, this is like the greatest moment of my life. I don't think you could ever beat this moment. I can't believe it. On the 31st of July 2012, South African Chad Leclerc stunned the world when he took gold at the London Summer Olympics by beating world champion Michael Phelps in the 200 meter men's butterfly event. Poolside, Chad's father Bert summed up the moment with one word, unbelievable. Some three years later, back in South Africa, Chad with fellow owners, Philip Kahan, Greg Blank and Bridget Conway, bought a share in a racehorse, which in celebration of Chad's Olympic triumph, they named Unbelievable Chad. Trained by Paul Lafferty to great excitement on the 13th of September 2015, Unbelievable Chad, ridden by jockey Stuart Randolph, won his maiden race at the third time of asking. Blunderbuss, but Unbelievable Chad will come home today. Unbelievable Chad by three. Give it up for Chad Leclerc, everybody on course here. Chad, come through, come through it, bud. Chad, firstly, fantastic, uh, you know, the way it's going in, in the swimming pool. I mean, you, you, you're flying the flag high for South Africa, and you must be really uh, you know, happy with, with the way things have been going around the world. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, firstly, thank you for everyone coming out today, supporting my horse. You know, obviously, big thanks to the team, Derek, and, uh, of course, Paul Lafferty for uh, getting me involved in this. All our best wishes to him. And then just to Stewie, I think he ran a perfect race. And uh, what can I say about unbelievable Chad? He's a beauty. It's unbelievable. I know it's a cliche, but you know, just to be here and to be in the atmosphere, just very, very happy to be a part of this. And uh, like I say, just thanks to my team and everybody. Uh, we've we've done a great job, I think. You, you know, in, in racing, uh, you speak to first-time owners, and they, they've been there, done that, in so many other things in their life where they've tasted success. But many tell you that it, there's no feeling like leading in a racehorse. Was it the same for you? It really, I mean, I'm going to say unbelievable again. It was, like my dad says, unbelievable. <laughs> let's, let's get your dad in. Bert, this man has really done you proud in the pool, hasn't he? Yeah. Unbelievably. Unbelievably. <laughs> but really nice to see your son involved in racing for your good mate, Paul Lafferty. Yes, yes, very much so. I've known Lafferty for a long time. And, and, you know, he hasn't been so well lately, but he's looking good now. And he's done, four, he's done strides with his horse. And he's doing well, and uh, I'd like to thank him, and from the bottom of my heart, for my whole family, that he's giving us a lot of joy now, you know, with the source. Firstly, just, uh, you know, being here and at the stables, whenever I get a chance to come. My unbelievable chat is my pride and joy. You know, we've had a fantastic couple of months together. You know, I feel like I'm his, uh, I wouldn't say father, but I'm his, like, his close uncle. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. It's been a great experience, you know, being involved with, with Paul and the team. And uh, just happy to be part of the game. I think it's, uh, it's an exciting new chapter of my life. Chad Duclos was born on the 12th of April 1992 and matriculated at Westville Boys High School, Durban, in 2010. Swimming from a very young age, Chad started competing at the age of 10. He's like any other boy. I mean, it's no different. I treat him no differently than I treat my other three kids. He's still my son, you know what I mean? At the 2010 Summer Youth Olympics in Singapore, Chad won five medals, two gold, one silver, and two bronze. When I put on my national colors for the first time, it was in 2009. I was just 17 years old and I was going to world championships. It was an unbelievable feeling, you know, because you never forget your first time, you know, walking out there, playing for the Springboks, so to speak, or the Proteas. That was probably my most memorable moment, you know. As a kid, you just wanna, you wanna be the best that you can be, but then when you actually achieve those goals, you know, you want more, you know, and it just becomes a, a snowball effect. You just, the better you get, the more you want to achieve. Well, that's the way I feel. It's important for, for me to keep focused and to keeping proud of South Africa and, and proud of, of my team. Thank you, man. The Olympic, World and Commonwealth Games swimming champion, on the 27th of April 2013, Chad Leclerc received a national honor when he was conferred the Silver Order of Ikhamanga for his excellent achievements on the international swimming stage, thus placing South Africa in high standing globally in the field of aquatic sports. The uh, best advice I've ever got given was actually from my father. You know, he always taught me never to give up, never to let anybody tell you you can't do something. I believe that if you can really believe it and you can really see yourself 
in that goal, whatever that is, whatever, whether it's making the Olympics, whether it's making nationals, whether it's being the school captain of your rugby team, you know, it doesn't matter. Your, your Olympic gold medal, as we call it, sh changes from different people as long as you achieve it. You know, someone else's Olympic gold medal could be to be the best in part time. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have to achieve your full potential. If you can see that goal, nothing can stop you. For me, it's like watching my grandson run. You know, it's different. It's completely different now. To having Chad, having a horse, and I used to have horses, I was bookmaker and all that. Now it's completely different. I, I go to the race course completely different. And that's the only time I go to the race course, is when we deal with Chad runs. You know, I really love my fans and my supporters. So, you know, there's a lot of, well, there's some kids in the race course with their parents. And uh, I usually bring my hero cards, which I've got like a picture and I sign that for them. So it's quite nice. With the 2016 Rio Olympics fast approaching, what are Chad's goals for the future? My aspirations for next year are, are very simple, you know, you have to beat Michael Phelps. I have to stop the beast. I have to win two gold medals as minimum. You know, that's my requirement. You know, I won a gold and a silver three years ago. And uh, if I win two golds, it'll make me the most decorated Olympian Africa has ever produced. So that's a goal of mine. And uh, it doesn't stop there. You know, I want to achieve more greater hearts in 2020 in Tokyo. and. Maybe even beyond that, you know, so it's, there's a lot of things I still need to achieve in the sport and most importantly I want to help grow the sport in South Africa. I want the kids to know that we can do it from home, we can do it from Lai Park and Pantan, you know, we don't have to go to the States and get fancy stuff thrown at us, you know, we can do it from humble beginnings. So that's what I stand for and I stand for the people, so. Ever since I won the gold I've had unbelievable support from everyone in South Africa. I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Every time I get and, and wear the green and gold, it's, it's a huge privilege to represent my country and to have the support that I have and you know even with my horse that's the reason we chose those colors just because I'm proudly South African and I'm, I take all my fans messages and everything to heart so thank you so much. We wish you all the best with this horse moving forward and uh, all the best here Chad. Thank you very much thanks guys cheers. Well done to the guys yeah well done to Chad Leclo. let's not forget the other owners uh, Greg Blank, Philip Kahan and Mrs. Conway, number 12, unbelievable, Chad, a popular result.